Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to uh, talk about um, one thing, uh, what it feels like to feel the Holy Spirit when inside of you, you know, um, for people that don't believe and, and even people that do believe and, uh, sorry, I, I had a smudge on my screen, um, people that, even people that do believe, you know, a lot of, quite, and I've even asked this many times in my life, you know, how do you feel God? When do you hear him? Right? And uh, in this journey that I've had with God so far, you know, I, I believe I have felt the Holy Spirit within me. Honestly, I'm not going to lie. Like right now, I feel the Holy Spirit in me. I do. And, and how it feels, it, the, the best way I can describe it is, uh, at least for me right now, it's an adrenaline rush. Right? It's an adrenaline rush, but it's an adrenaline rush for him. That's the thing. It's an adrenaline rush, adrenaline rush for him, right? To where you just want to go out into the world and just proclaim his word. Or, you know, something dramatic like that. It's an adrenaline rush. That's, the, that's just the best way I can describe, at least for myself, what I've felt so far, uh, the Holy Spirit. Um, so I went to church this morning. Um, I'm, I, I'm always excited to go to church on Sundays because I, I always get something out of it. The people I go with are amazing. You know, they're, they're very welcoming. Um, you know, I love my pastor. He, he talks about really good stuff. We're talking about spiritual growth right now uh, and how you can walk uh, with God and grow your spiritual growth with Christ, you know, and, the, and uh, the different steps you can take. And a big part of that is scripture, is reading the Bible. You know, a lot of us own a Bible, but it's just collecting dust, right? And I'm, I'm guilty of that for many, 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 many years. You know, I got the Bible I have now uh, was a gift to me. It's a King James Version. Um, actually, I can show it to you right now. Um, it's a King James Version, and it was a gift given to me years ago, like 15, 17 years ago um, by... Uh, uh, a couple, um, and you know, yeah, throughout those 15, 17 years, yeah, I, uh, you know, I would read it here and there, but I wouldn't get anything out of it, and then, uh, for years and years and years, I put it down and never picked it up, until I started this walk with God, when I started this walk with God, here's my, here's my Holy Bible, New King James Version, um, you know, but this, th this is my Bible that I read and use, um, and, you know, I, I'm learning. Actually, my girlfriend's little sister was here, just, just so that she's, uh, 14. Anyways, um, you know, she doesn't really know her faith yet, um, and that's okay. You know, but we start talking about, um, 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 gays and, and, um, you know, the, the, the gay community. And, uh, and she, she was like, yeah, the, you know, being gay is a sin, but she was like, I refuse to believe, like, that it's wrong. You know, gay is, is your choice. And, you know, I didn't say anything to that, right? But in me reading scripture, I knew where that verse talking about gay people was in the Bible. So this wasn't me trying to convince her that gay is a sin, or trying to convert her to God, I just, I just knew it was like, you know, I just knew where the scripture was in the Bible, so she can read it. So I got my Bible, I went to Romans, um, and I, I found the verse where it talks about, um, um, you know, women with women and gay, uh, I'm sorry, with men and men, and I just let her read it. I was like, here, you know, read these two verses. You know, and that's it. She read it. She was like, I don't understand it. And, you know, I, I was like, okay, cool. You know, you don't, it's okay. You know, I was like, I just wanted you to read where it says in the Bible um, about gays, right? And don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not proclaiming, hey, you know, I was like, hey, you know, don't sin. Don't sin. Yes, I am absolutely saying that. Do not sin. Um, you know, um, Jesus is against gay people. Jesus loves all people. Gays, transvestites, it doesn't matter. God loves everyone. 
but he is against the choices that they have made, okay? Um, but anyways, what I'm noticing is the more I read in scripture, um, the more I'm enjoying it, the more knowledge I'm getting, and the more I can, I can give to other people on God's word. That's it, you know? And that makes me hungry for more, right? That makes me hungry for more. Um, right now, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm in a Batman, and that Batman speaker right there, um, I have it on my Bluetooth on my phone, and I'm listening to, to um, you know, motivational speeches about different stuff um, while praying to God. Before I made this video, that's what I was doing, listening to motivational speeches out loud on Bluetooth, pacing my, my house. While praying to God, asking him to give me the strength to just do his work. Whatever that is, I don't know what that looks like. Okay? But the Holy Spirit right now is working in me. And I just wanted to share a video. Guys, don't, don't quote me on this. But I believe I read in the Bible. I'm not sure where, but I believe that God said... He will not present himself to you if you do not say yes to God. Okay? I believe that says that, that those words are spoken in the Bible. I believe God himself said that. Okay? If you do not say yes to God, he's not going to speak to you. You will never feel his presence. You know? I. It is what it is, right? You know? But anyways, guys, that, that's it. You know, I just, uh, I feel like the Holy Spirit is working in me right now. And I want to make a video saying that, listen, God loves you. God loves you. He died on the cross for you. He died. The Passion of Christ. The movie. The Passion of Christ. Go and watch The Passion of Christ and go to the crucifixion scene. And the whipping scene that Jesus endured. Watch that video and tell me that you don't tear up. Even if you're not a believer, tell me that you don't tear up. Okay? Watch that scene of the whipping and the crucifixion of the Passion of the Christ. That's how much God loves us, guys. Could we endure any of that? Or would we run? God loves us. Jesus loves us. And the only way to have a relationship with him is to say yes. That's it. Say, yes, Lord, I invite you in my life. I want you in my life. I'm telling you guys, God will work wonders. Will it always be easy? No. If anything, it might actually get harder. But, one thing I will guarantee you is that the struggles you go through in Christ will be worth it and you will know that it is worth it in the long run where you will not give up. The joy that God will give you, the peace of mind that the Holy Spirit can, can give you just by saying yes to Him. Yes, I give my life to you. Tell me what you want. That's it, guys. God wants to work wonders in your life. But he will not do that unless you say yes. I'll leave you off with that 10-minute video. Long one, I apologize. You guys have a great Sunday.